I'm not terribly familiar with Asterix and Oblix, but what it is is a French comic that made its way around the world and it has produced many things including a game and this is Asterix and Obelisk XXL Romastered which is a remastered version of a 2003 collectathon beat-em-up it's the best and worst remastered game at the same time that I've seen because it has a mode to where you can play the original the thing is, it's dedicated to a button instead of an option in the menu, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, and my controller was playing up a little bit. I had to unplug it and replug it back in. That's not the game's fault, but it, it kept on popping in and out of the retro mode, and then I do it intentionally later on to get a comparison between the original and the remastered version. So Asterix and Oblix definitely has a lot of tropes of early 2000s collectathon platformers. It's got arbitrary tutorials that you can't skip. It's got cutscenes that you can't skip. The remastered version does little to nothing to alter this, so you're still kind of stuck. That's fine for my situation because I'm using it for recording footage. If you'd already played it and stuff or wanted to replay it, then having to sit through that would be pretty annoying. The remastered version actually is pretty good. It doesn't really change the gameplay at all. When you switch between the old version and the new version, it feels pretty much the same. The animations are slightly different, but you can even turn that off in the settings. And it actually has quite a bit of settings that you can do to make the remastered version closer to the original while just maintaining the graphic enhancements, which is honestly pretty cool. I don't think I've ever come up with a remastered version of a game that's like, here's the original. If you want to play the original, go ahead. But if you want to have modern graphics, you can alter our tweaks that we made to it to where it's essentially the original just with a new coat of paint. And I, I like that. One of my problems with the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, the music and the environmental sounds played a different aspect in the original game to the remastered game. Here, it's actually kind of the opposite. It was available on the GameCube, so a lot of the stuff had to be cut or compressed for it to be able to be played on the GameCube. So here, you get the modern aspect ratio and you also get a more depth and broad soundtrack. It's more consistent throughout the game rather than it just being during specific scenes. It does have really abrupt audio cuts in the remastered version. But these were also there in the original. So I, I guess it's trying to keep to the original. It is a little bit jarring and I, I think they could have maybe transitioned it a little bit better. Other than that, there's not really any problems with it. The jumping feels good. The combat feels all right. I don't think I recorded any fighting segments of the retro version, but the modern version at least has indicators when the Romans are going to attack you. There's no counter system. This is way before any counter systems really existed. So you just kind of got to dodge and run around and to avoid the enemies, you know, just like it was back in the day rather than countering. That, that's something I think they could have added that would have made it feel a little bit more modern, but I think they wanted to try to make it as authentic as possible. And that's what the settings are for to where you can make it feel like the original and they didn't want to change it all that much. It feels like a more authentic tribute to the original than other remasters. And it doesn't feel just like a, a slap of paint like the uh, Ratchet and Clank HD games on the PlayStation 3. I like it because it makes me feel like they put in effort. And I think the game might be on sale on GOG right now, so maybe check that out. And if not, I'm sorry. But yeah, honestly, from what I've played, if you want that style, 
of early 2000s collectathon action platformer, then consider it. Even if you don't really know who Asterix and Obelisk is, like, I don't really know who they are. Like, I read a few of the comics when I was a kid, but not anything to know who or what they are, but... I think it's a pretty decent little game. Let me know what you think down in the comments below and consider liking and subscribing if you enjoyed this video. If you didn't, let me know. Maybe consider another video. Hopefully it'll be more up to your tastes. Either way, I'll see you there. Bye.